bored to pick with you. Oh, no. Should I be nervous? <laughs> Here, you've sold our Bell's car. Right. Oh, is that a problem? Well, it will be if she wants to go anywhere, you know? Well, you do realise it was a mutual decision. Look, Kane. <clears throat> Things have been pretty difficult, so we sat down, had a chat. How much did you get for it? <laughs> Two and a half grand. <laughs> the obviously saw you coming. Sorry? You robbed. You should have come to me. I would have got a much better price for you. Mm. Really? Yeah, really. I'm a mechanic. I own a garage, remember? Not too bright for a vet, are you? And obviously not earning much by the sounds of it. I don't follow. You've sold Belle's car to pay for a holiday. If you're that skin, stop at home. Either that or ask Paddy for a rise. Still, stunned now. You plonk her. Hi, Belle. Sorry. I was just passing. I thought I'd pop in, see how you were doing. It's not a bad time, is it? No. Uh, and I'm good, thank you. Oh. So, how did it go? What? The news. Tom, the pregnancy. Oh, um, yeah, I've, I've not told him yet. Right? But he'll be delighted. I know it, it's just, it's me. I need to get my head round it. It's all happened so quick. <laughs> we weren't even trying. Well, look, you don't have to worry because I'm not going to say anything. OK, thank you. Because I need to be sure. OK. Because of my mental health. <laughs> I understand. Look, why don't you stick the kettle on and we'll have a little chat about stuff? No, no, I'm, I'm fine, honestly. Belle, you have to consider what is best for you. I know. So you do get what I'm saying? Yeah. Good. So let's have a chat about it. Hello, hello, hello. Didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, she just popped round to see how I am after yesterday. Oh, okay. Well, have you given her a clean bill of health? Oh, yes. Absolutely glowing. Look, um, I'm going to have to dash because I've got a million and one things to do. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Would have been nice to have a chat. I'll see you later, love. I'll see ya. Yeah. What was all that about? <laughs> Didn't know. She just popped in. She never pops in. You tell her about the car. You've been mouthing off to her as well. really let me down. Please, can you just tell me what I've done? You know what you've done? No, I don't, honestly. So why do you look so nervous? Because you're being weird. OK. I spoke to Kane earlier. OK. He asked about the car. I haven't told him about the car. No? We you probably told everybody else, haven't you? Why would I do that? Oh, poor me. Big bad Tom sold my car. I haven't said that. So why did Mandy call me tight yesterday? And then Kane accosts me in the street today. Calls me a plonker, belittles me, all because you have been mouthing off about I me. I haven't been, Tom. I swear I haven't been. Stop lying! Tom, don't! No, don't! Don't! I'm pregnant! <laughs> You're actually pregnant? I was going to tell you tonight. Oh, my God, this is... This is brilliant. This is, this is so, so brilliant. Is that enough milk for you? Perfect. Are you sure? Yeah. OK. And you don't want a biscuit with it? No, no, I'm good. Although you are actually going to have to cut down on sugar and tea. Too much caffeine. <laughs> Sorry. What for? Me? You know, just smiling like a Cheshire cat. <laughs> I can't help it. You're pregnant. My wife is actually pregnant. So when did you find out? 
Um, this morning, after you left for work. I thought I'd best do a test, because I haven't been feeling well. Oh, it all makes sense now. What does? Well, you. Forgetting things all the time. You got baby brain. Yeah, maybe. Right, this is what's gonna happen. You are gonna finish that, and then me, you, and Piper are gonna go for a little walk, get some fresh air. That is what you need now. Lots and lots of fresh air. Do you not need to get back to work? Well, stuff that. Come on, it is not every day you find out that your wife is pregnant. I'll just tell them that we're celebrating or something. Please don't tell them that I'm pregnant. <sighs> Why not? Well, I'd just like to have the scan first, if that's all right. And I need to tell my family first. Okay. Whatever you think. You know what? <sighs> I'm gonna get you a jumper. It's a bit chilly, and I don't want you getting cold. Okay. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that in eight or nine months' time, we'll probably be walking the exact same route with Piper. Only one of us will be pushing a pram. It's all a bit surreal, isn't it? Mm. What do you want, boy or girl? I don't think you get to choose, Tom. No, but if you could. I don't know, I've not thought about it. I only found out this morning. Can we sit? We've been walking for ages. Mm -hmm. Piper! Here, girl! Can I ask you a question? And can you promise to not get mad? Of course I'm not going to get mad. You're pregnant. OK. We are doing the right thing, aren't we? About what? Having this baby. Well, I mean, it's a bit late now. No, I know, it's just with my relapse. So? Well, I'm worried it's too much for me. What? You're nervous. I understand that. Yeah, but it's... <laughs> Belle, everything happens for a reason. You being pregnant now is exactly the right time for us. It's what we both need. Do you really think? Absolutely, especially for you. How do you mean? Well, it'll finally bring back some purpose to your life, give you something to focus on, and it will give us something to look forward to, together. And let's not forget, this is only the start of our family. I'm hoping, I don't know if I said, but I'm hoping for a football team. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be a proper family, Bill. Just does. And I know that I haven't been the best husband in the world. But I promise you, that is going to change. Because now I'm a daddy. <laughs> so, why don't you stay here, rest up, and look after our baby, and I'll go play with Piper for a bit. Come on, girl. Let's go find some sticks. Huh? Come on, come on. Let's go. 